Hey YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. Don't mind me, I'm chewing. I found this aspartame. It's been a while. It's been out for a while, but I just ignored it. Aspartame free gum. So I'm gonna get the okay on Evan to see if this is okay to have. It's aspartame free, and it's got natural flavors in it. And I'm just chewing on gum, like, like, mm, I don't know how to say it. Arabic gum or Persian gum or whatever they call it. Like they have in the Middle East that they chew to keep the saliva flowing when they're in the desert. That's that's what I, it just feels like I'm chewing on wax. But it's okay. It's aspartame free, keeps my mouth occupied. And no, they're not sponsoring me to do this. I've never, I've seen this before. So it's gluten free, gluten free, peanut free, non-GMO and vegan friendly. Uh oh. So it's got uh, Arabic, yeah, Arabic gum. It's like the, it's what they use in the in some of the deserts when you're crossing and stuff, and to keep your saliva flowing. And that's what it's doing for me here, which is really good. But anyways, guys, I kind of want to throw this out there. I reached seven thousand subs yesterday, and it's been grueling to get to seven thousand because I was getting 30, 20 to thirty subs a day for the longest time, and then boom. My, my channel got shadow banned. I guess what they do is they go and do a check around and see who's pro or anti-Hillary Clinton. And if someone's anti-Hillary Clinton, they get put into uh, into um, an abyss, a journey to nowhere, a path to exile. You know what I'm saying? Oblivion. It's like there's an oblivion ring around their channel, circling their channel. It's an oblivion. So that's what's been happening, guys. Now... What I wanted to say about that is I'm kind of upset that, you know, little little guys on, on YouTube don't stand a chance. They don't stand a chance. And if you go right now on Google and you type in top YouTube channels, every single channel, every single channel in the top 100 channels is comedy um, comedy, comedy, entertainment, comedy, entertainment, food, comedy, entertainment, food. So, YouTube's doing a really good job, really good job, uh, uh, keeping it at the level they want. So, look at the top 100 channels. Comedy, there's no news, God forbid, there's no news in the top 100 YouTube channels. There's no news, there's nothing. It's all from what I saw, which is comedy, 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 uh, um, uh, entertainment, comedy, entertainment, food, food, travel, entertainment, comedy, food, travel. And no one gives a crap about that stuff because that stuff ain't going to make you money. Those people on those channels aren't going to come and pay your bills. You know what I'm saying? I just like to give, I just like to talk, you know, create a platform for people to talk in the comments. Um, create a platform for people to get to know each other. Uh, I went on somebody's Facebook, like, to wish them a Merry Christmas, and I went on their Facebook, and their friends on Facebook were, like, seven people from my channel. I was like, oh, my God, everyone's becoming friends. You know why? Because all like-minded folks stick together. Like-minded people from all... It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter your what culture you are. It doesn't matter. Every, there's always going to be a like-minded folk, Right? So, what's happening in the U.S.? Like I said to you guys a few months back, it's not because it's black versus white and Chinese versus white and Latinos versus blacks. and It's not that. It's going to change. It's going to be left versus right. And that's what's going to happen. It's not going to be that um, uh, culture culture battles anymore. It's going to be, it's going to plain and simply be uh, left versus right. You're not going to have any black versus white anymore, which is good. You're not gonna have any Latinos versus uh, versus whites, or you know, you know what I mean, right, guys? So this is a good thing because then, but it's actually going to what it's gonna do. It's actually going to uh, divide us by left versus right, plain and simple. Oh, I got ten minutes to open the shop. It's no rush. I don't think there's gonna be no one waiting for me outside. But for Christmas time. Man, I had people... St but I was on time. I was early, like 20 minutes. I had people standing outside my shop. 
at Christmas time waiting for me to open. And I'm like, but the sign says 11. It's, it's plain as day digital. So people didn't mind waiting. It's like, wow, people waiting in their cars, waiting for me to open. But that's good. It shows you got a really attractive niche business, you know? Guys, watch my series, Building a Business from Scratch. Uh, my game store from scratch, how I built it from scratch and set the whole place up. And a very good transformation from what the building was. I'll leave a link at the end of the video. Wow, this guy's revving his engine. Ooh, the smoke. Ooh, this guy's got an like, 82 pickup truck, 1982. It's falling apart. It's got duct tape on it. He's revving his engine. Hi, can I get an extra large dark roast one cream? Did you want to add espresso to that today? No espresso. There you go. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Wow, the truck in front of me, guys. Holy crap. Oh, he's got to pay with Visa, too. He's got no tap on his Visa. The smoke is just like, I'm in a cloud of smoke right now. And because the building is next to me and there's, there's a wall to the right, I'm like boxed into this. Oh, rev it up good. Ooh, the truck. Ooh. Oh, you smell it? You guys smell it in there? Yeah, it's terrible. Terrible, I know. What? My brother's off? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye, ladies. Bye, but listening to the revs of that motor, I'll tell you something. Ooh, here he is again. Right, rev it up good. Rev it, yeah. What is that? 82, 82 Chevy 1500? 2500 series? Rev it up. That's it. Let's show everyone your muscles. I think it's burning oil. Don't you hate when the vehicle in front of you is burning oil? Or It looks like he's burning something on his manifold to eat later. Alright, let's get out of here. Wow. It was the whole Tim Hortons inside was smelling like that. Alright, guys. I'm headed to the shop now. I'm gonna enjoy my dark roast coffee here. I gotta buy some filters for my coffee machine so I can go back on the Evan diet. We got a few days left in the year. And uh, I forgot what day it is today. I don't even know. I think it's the 28th or 29th. I don't even know, man. I don't even care. And that's what my net worth is. People ask me, Mike, what's your net worth? I'm free. My net worth is freedom, plain and simple. No questions asked, no debates, no, no, no discussion, freedom. Like I told Steve the Plumber who was on the show last night. There's people that have $400 million and they're not free still. It's freedom. How free can you get? First thing is to get out of debt. And then slowly, believe it or not, put a bit of money away to uh, put a bit of money away slowly, you know, just a little bit. It all adds up, you know. I don't even, I wouldn't invest in anything right now. My oil is spiking today, man. Too bad the markets were closed yesterday because I would have sold some oil stock off. I was so mad. I went, oh, oil's, oil's through the roof today. Holy crap. I go check. Oh, yeah. By the way, it's a holiday. It's Boxing Day in Canada, but the rest of the world's all on, except Canada. Yeah, Canada needs to go with the flow if it if it wants to become uh, a progressive uh, country. You know, I'm not talking about go with the flow with the UN migration pact and all that crap. I'm talking about like start making things like attractive for investors. Start making, uh, start creating uh, 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 working poor middle-class jobs at least people could get out for the day go out and work and at least buy their food you know what i'm saying 
Anyways, got some nice sunshine on me. It is a winter wonderland here, guys, in Merritt. Mountains are covered in snow. It's beautiful. Well, luckily we got a city councilor who got voted in into city council. Smart guy. He's going to fix the flooding for us. So I'm very excited for this. I'm, I'm actually very excited to see what happens, uh, how he fixes the flooding. and um, I would like to know what he's going to do to fix the flooding. I, I, I think it's going to be a good thing. I think it's a great thing, actually, if you want to be really technical with it. Um, that he's going to do it. And um, thank God he's in council to do this thing. Because they haven't fixed this flooding in, in the last... It's gotten worse, potentially worse, in the last three years. So, I mean, a thousand years ago, this entire valley was underwater. This this whole valley, this whole mountain... Yeah, I'm surrounded by mountains. This was all a, a, a lake bed at one time. If you go back far enough. Uh, I love it when these cars drive so slow and make a left turn so slow because they're afraid their car is going to roll over. I've seen cars roll over before. Oh, I got somebody waiting for me to open. Ah, looks like a bum. I don't want to deal with bums this morning. Anyways, guys, have a good one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Happy New Year if I don't say it to you.